Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. I know most of you are like me. We're stuck at home, uh, can't really go to the markets that often, definitely cannot go to a restaurant. And also if you're like me, you're craving a few things. Right now, I'm craving dumplings, I'm craving noodles, I'm craving barbecue, and of course I'm craving hot pot like nobody's business. Last time I went to the supermarket, I got these things. Portable self-heating hot pots. And I got two of them. One is from Guoba and one is from Hai Lao. These are both hot pot chain. And Hai Lao, of course, is the biggest hot pot chain in the world. Um, unfortunately, they only had vegetarian ones. I don't understand that. See, Guoba, they have a sausage one. And these are really cool because apparently all you gotta do is add some water and you're good to go. Like this one doesn't expire till September, the one with vegetables. And the one with sausage, doesn't expire till the end of this year. So I'm gonna heat them both up and we'll see if they're good. So the picture looks impressive. It looks like there's some uh, fish balls, sausage, crab. All right, I don't think this, this picture is very, very authentic. <laughs> I get it. That's pretty clever. Sausage in a can, that's why it's not expiring. Vienna sausages. So I guess we have the meat and I guess we have the vegetables, everything here. The chili seasoning pack, wet wipes, vermicelli noodles, and this is the heating pack. We're gonna put all the ingredients in here and fill the water to the, to the water line. I don't really see a water line here. And then take out the heating bag and put on the bottom of the outer container. Oh, right, right here, right here. It says right there. That's the water line. So you gotta put the water, so you, so you don't really need much water at all. And then close the lid. All right, pretty straightforward. So all the ingredients in here were my chili noodles. The ingredients pack. Ugh. So I see some lotus root, some seaweeds, uh, bamboo, and a lot of gooeyness. Like a hot pot just gave birth right in front of me. And it doesn't specify how long it's gonna take, it just says when the steam is done shooting out of that little whale hole right there, then it's done. Let's cook the second one. The instructions are so clear. Basically the exact same container. <clears throat> All right, it's the exact same heating pack, exact same pickled vegetable pack. The vermicelli comes in this little bag. All right, these are your utensils. This is kind of cute. It's got a little, uh, expandable chopstick inside, some pickled vegetables, and their spicy flavoring. Man, so essentially these are like the same thing. But the only thing setting these two things apart is the seasoning. Oh, oh, I forgot to add the water to this, to this thing. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ooh. Cause this pack works fast. Oh my God, oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ow, ow, woo, woo, woo. I do like this. Look at the utensil pack from Heidi Lal. A toothpick a spoon and you can assemble these chopsticks. All right, while we're waiting for this to cook, um, speaking of spicy, I wanna tell you guys about this crazy video I made that involved a lot of spice. If you have a weak stomach where you're about to eat something, I suggest you put that down. This will get graphic, okay? You've been warned. If you wanna keep eating and listening to this, watching this, that's up to you. So I don't know if how many of you guys have seen this video. This is the uh, spiciest curry in the world challenge that I did. I think like two or three years ago. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. You see me here eating the spicy curry and it is spicy. It's made with Carolina Reapers, the hottest chilies in the world. Okay, by the way, I, I do want to say when this, after this video was made, I got a bunch of people commenting, like a lot of people from India commenting, come to India, like our chilies are way more spicy. They are not. This is the spiciest chili in the world. It'll make what I'm about to tell you make much more sense. And I took this challenge because at that time I was starting to do food challenges. I like it. I'm always able to eat a lot of spicy food. So to me, it wasn't a big deal, especially because 
I went to Brick Lane Curry before. When I first came to New York, I went there. When they first started doing their spiciest curry in the world challenge, I didn't even know it was a challenge. It was just dinner for me. So I walked in with a friend. She told me, she's like, oh man, they make some really spicy curry. We went in there. I ordered it as a meal and I finished it. And I was like, okay, it was spicy. Wasn't all that big a deal. So I'm thinking, all right, let me go do this spicy curry challenge again because it was nothing I did it before. What I didn't know was that they switched up the chilies. Now they're using the spiciest chilies in the world. Now, I have, a, I have a background in chili eating. Like ever since I was little, my grandma used to make these chili sandwiches for me. I don't know whether it's because like she wants me to keep warm in the winter in China because we weren't that rich or couldn't really afford heat or what was the reason. But the only sandwich she made were buns and chili oil inside. And it was wonderful. It was so simple. It was just that and some salt. And it was the most wonderful sandwich in my life. The fact that I love my grandma probably helped a lot too to make that taste better. But greatest sandwich in my life. So I trained in chili eating my whole life. So I walk into this curry place. I didn't think anything of it. They go in the kitchen. Uh, they of course put on a face mask to cook the curry, which really didn't surprise me because they did that the first time. But I remember this time when they were cooking the curry, like I couldn't breathe. You the repo went in. This is why he's wearing a gas mask. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm being burned. Yep. <coughs> Cut it back. I have, oh my God. <coughs> you see right here, I couldn't breathe had to get out of the kitchen. It was the craziest, it was like I was being tear gassed. And I do know what that feels like. Thank you so much, Istanbul. And they cooked it and they brought it out to me. First bite, it really feels like someone just stabbed me in the throat. Like I couldn't believe one bite hurt me that much. And at that point I was trying to eat it with uh, the naan or the rice and try to uh, dull the, the heat down a little bit. That's the wrong move. It just means that that chili has now multiplied. I just can't fathom just eating like like a whole mouthful of just curry on his own. So I'm eating this and I end up uh, drinking basically every single mango lassi in the rest. I think I had about 12 mango lassi to down that one bowl of, of, of curry. So if you see me here, I'm literally like, I just gave up on everything else. I'm like, the pain is already killing me. Um, it's not worth it to stop. So I just started to chuck the curry and just wash it down with the lassi. And that strategy worked for me. And, and I finished it, I got my certificate. It was good, I was happy. What I'm gonna tell you now is what happened after that. I don't think I've ever told like anybody on a, on a broad scale what happened after that video stopped filming. So I'm gonna tell you guys. Now, after I leave the restaurant, and this was, we went to the Brick Lane location in a beautiful New Jersey suburb, all right? It was just a quaint, quiet street on the outside. The lawns were all well manicured. It just rained, so the air had a just this brilliant smell of, of freshly cut grass and raindrops. And it's so quiet, I see like, you know, a mom walking her kid down the street towards me. And again, just a beautiful surrounding. I walk outside, not two minutes later, I feel this rumble in my stomach. Like I just ate Mount Fuji and it's about to erupt. And there's only a few times in my life where I've ever kind of lost control of my body. The mango mixed with that curry, mixed with those chilies, just rushed up from my stomach like Godzilla spewing flames. And it literally looked like that. Godzilla slash exorcist all over this beautiful New Jersey block. I see the, the lady with the baby walking towards me just scramble across the street. It was devastating. And the thing is, I couldn't stop. Like I did this for literally, I think, no less than 30 seconds straight. And it came out like bright orange because it's, it's lassi, right? So it literally probably did look like Godzilla, just like everywhere. And finally I stopped and I couldn't believe that just happened to me. I'm just like, try to steady myself. I'm like, oh God, is it over? Is it over? And like literally, you remember that scene in Family Guy where they're like, oh God, oh God, is it over? Is it over? It felt like I was there. And no, it was not over. 10 seconds later, the second wave came in. It was even harder. I mean, this thing had distance, it had volume. Pretty sure it melted anything it touched. So after that second wave was over, I, was, I got to my car and I'm literally in, in just, just a fetal position, 
crouching by my car, just like praying to the to the, to the chilly gods in the sky that please be over, please be over, please be over. The throwing up was over, but then came the worst part. It's just blinding stomach pains. Like I'm like crouching down there for about 30 minutes trying to recover myself. Finally, get in the car. It's a two hour drive back to my house, two hours drive back to my house. And I literally Googled, can I die from eating stuff that are too spicy? I Googled this because I'm thinking, all right, that, that might be it. I mean, I had a good run. The food guys has been kind to me, but this, uh, this is where I end my journey. <laughs> and luckily that wasn't the case. Really? Was that, was that worth it? A, a piece of paper with your name on it. Was that worth the hell you're about to experience? The suffering, this was just really, how many views does this thing get? That was worth it. And that was the last spice challenge I have ever done. Uh, they did call me a week after that. They were like, hey, uh, the, travel is, the travel channel is here. They, they're wondering if you, you, wanna, you wanna take the challenge again. And I have never said hell no so fast in my life. So there you go. The most painful video I have ever filmed. That's what happened. All right, let's see some spicy hot pot. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that actually looks amazing. Swimming in a pool of chilies. All right, the, the sorry looking vegetables from the pack look a lot better now, right? Lotus root, we got some potatoes. Oh, they're more identifiable now. I didn't even see potatoes in there before. Actually has a good crunch. Hmm. You hear that? Really nice crunch to it. The broth is really spicy and nummy. Mmm. Wow. The bamboo shoot has a great crunch to it too. Like the vegetables actually taste like the fresh vegetables. Vermicelli noodles. All right, they're a little stuck together. Wow, oh, that's really hot. Mmm, you know what? This is not a bad hot pot. And Vienna sausage goes great with this. I mean, if you have some spam, I will throw that in as well. From the broth to the veggie quality, I got no complaints about this. Heat level, everything's great. I mean, this is ingenious. This doesn't expire for like over half a year. You can take this on a picnic, maybe to a ball game. Don't eat a hot dog, eat a hot pot. Ooh, this looks even better. This one, you can actually see the peppercorn and the chili flakes, and definitely smells a lot spicier than the last one. And it looks a lot spicier too, right? And a ton of vegetables. This thing will definitely fill you up. Same vegetables from before, some seaweed, potatoes, lotus roots, and a different uh, noodle. So here we got the vermicelli noodles. Look at that crazy broth with all the chilies. And if you can, if you compare the two broths, the Heidi Law one is definitely, definitely looks and smells superior. Oh, way more nummy. Mm. Way more nummy. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> yeah, that is spicy. But I feel like the, the Heidi Law one definitely um, is more aggressively seasoned, especially spice-wise. I'm gonna give you a little spoon to drink the soup. Do not drink the soup. This is all oil, all hot oil. If you wanna experience sort of what I experienced uh, three years ago, yeah, go ahead and drink the soup. But I would say do not. This is just all chili oil. Oh my God, this looks crazy. But having tried these, 100% get them. I mean, this is so easy. You got most of your ingredients in here. And if you wanted to, because the seasoning pack can definitely flavor way more ingredients than what's here. So what you could potentially do is just buy this and take their seasoning pack and get a pot yourself, right? And then add more ingredients into it. Throw some tofu in there, some spam, like I said, some fatty beef, whatever you want, and just boil it yourself with their seasoning pack. Now, like I said, if you're going anywhere, a road trip, whatever, this is way better than like cold sandwich. I mean, this stuff heats up really hot. I mean, this will definitely warm you up. Just bring this, can of spam, you're gonna be pretty happy. I feel so good right now. I feel so alive. I've been wanting a hot pot 
so much. Dish, although not perfect, definitely does it for me. All right, I gotta go yee while watching an episode of Scrubs. So thank you guys so much for watching this instant hot pot review and listening to my most painful video story ever. Hopefully I didn't gross you up too much. And if you're stuck at home, you want some recipes to follow, definitely check out my cooking channel. Cook with Mikey, link is down below for you. Thanks again, see you later.